Hello everybody, welcome back to another hammer tutorial. Um I know I haven't been I haven't been doing these kinds of tutorials for a while, but um because of um the pandemic that's been going on and stuff, uh I haven't been able to record that much. But um yeah, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to make an elevator inside the Portal 2 Hammer Editor. I'm going to be showing you how to make the arrival and departure elevators. So uh, first, you're going to want to get your entity tool. You'll want to go down here and type Funk Instance. Alright, and then just um, put that in your map like this and double click it. Go to VMF file name, click browse, it'll open uh, your maps folder, or where, it'll open a folder like this. And uh, just go to instances, and then go to turbine elevator, and click arrival elevator A4 base. Although, um, you can also use the destructed base if you're doing an overgrown map, um, but I'm just going to go with the clean elevator. So you'll get this big thing and this is this is basically well like the file name suggests it's just the base of the elevator. It won't do anything. Um, it's empty in the middle. There's not a tube inside of it. Um, so in order to actually make it so it does things you have to hold shift and cl click and drag and just overlap it so there's two of them on top of each other now click one of them and then click browse again and click arrival elevator a4 logic and uh, this is basically the thing that has the tube inside of it there it is um, well we're still not done because uh, the player won't actually spawn inside here, if I remember correctly. I think you could put an info player start in there and it could work, but um, we're going to get another funk instance. And, well, where? There we go. And go to instances, and there should be a transitions folder. Click on that, and arrival, departure, transition ends. This is what you want. And, um, yeah, you'll get, uh, this thing right here. Uh, I usually like to put it next to my elevator. And that, that'll basically do it. But, um, we don't actually have anything attached here. So, um, I'm not going to make a full blown out test chamber or anything, although if you were actually making a map, you would probably want to. So, uh, let's see, I'll just get a random tile texture. Uh, this will do. And uh, you'll just want to, you, if you want to actually line it up correctly, you have to scale down the brushes a little bit. Um, and just basically just connect it to the elevator entrance point right here. Oh, whoops, did not mean to do that. So just, I'm just going to make like a, a short hallway. And that'll work. And I'll just drag it down. Uh... I'll I'll just use the hollow tool for this. All right, there we go. Um, let's see. I can move these down a little bit. This is this isn't supposed to be anything fancy. The textures are clipping into each other, but this, that won't really matter. Okay, so now I'm just going to delete this. Ugh, it looks so ugly, but it's fine. And I'm just going to duplicate 
this base and then I'm going to click on it again and instead of the arrival elevator we want to click the departure elevator base oh, oh uh, okay it's finished loading sometimes um, when you do this it'll just be a red like when you try to load the bases and everything it'll just be a red dot you have to reload hammer if that happens um, Let's see, is that... Yeah, that's correct. Mm. So, we'll just repeat the process that we did with the arrival elevator, except with the departure one. And you need to use the departure logic this time. You don't need to get another transition thing. We, you only need one in your map. And I'm pretty sure... Um, I'm pretty sure this is all we need to do. I'm going to put a light in this hallway just so I can kind of see what's going on. And let's run the map. See what happens. Oh. elevator and we came out here's our here's my very badly constructed hallway and um, here is the departure elevator there we go so yeah that's basically um, that's basically all the elevators that's all. You, that's like the basics of the elevators. Um, you can. It's like it, you can put um, videos on the like sides of the elevators and stuff. But um, I don't know how you like set it correctly. I think there's like some bug that prevents that like prevents it from working properly. Because whenever I try doing it, it always just chooses a random video. But um, I think um. Let's see, it was in here somewhere. Oh, no, it didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's see, I remember there is something in one of these. I might just be looking at the wrong thing. Is it up here? Oh, it's up here. Uh, yeah, the arrival and departure video. Whenever you, whenever I try to set these to anything, it always just randomizes it. Um, so, I I believe there's like a fix for that, but I don't know what it is. But um, yeah, that's how you make an elevator. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.